Nobel Prize week has kicked off in Sweden. The outside of the Nobel Forum may be getting a revamp, but a 123-year tradition was maintained inside, as the 115th prize in physiology or medicine was awarded. Jointly to Victor Ambrus and Gary Ravkin for the discovery of microRNA and its role in post-transcriptional gene regulation. The two Americans made their discovery when they worked together in the 1980s and got the call at 4.30 a.m. on Monday. It was, uh, you know, I'm the secretary of the Nobel Committee and I bear good news. And, I, and Natasha, my wife, figured out that it was, she goes, it's a Swedish accent. <laughs> <laughs> I was astonished and, you know, surprised, um, um, delighted. <laughs> Uh, everything you might expect. It's the second year in a row that the Medicine Prize has gone to scientists working on RNA molecules. This year's Medicine Prize concerns micro RNA, not to be confused with last year's messenger RNA that led to the development of COVID vaccines. And this award doesn't have the same level of practical use, at least not yet. Micro RNA's role as an instruction manual for the cells of the body could lay the groundwork for medical breakthroughs. That could mean being able to more accurately diagnose what type of breast cancer or type of blood cancer someone has, with slight but crucial differences in outcomes and treatments. Paul Rees, Al Jazeera, Stockholm. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.